we're we're talking animals, right? Yeah. We got Ryan here yeah. from Fayetteville Animal Services joining us, and Nesta because it is Nesta. National Pet Month. Thanks to our friends at Purina for sponsoring this segment. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Once Absolutely. Again. Yeah. So why is this time of year important? I mean, it's National Pet Month. Why? Why? Why May? This time of year, usually spring into summer months, is where shelters see their capacity limits really go up. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of strain on local shelters, whether it be Fayetteville, Rogers, Bentonville, the whole area. Um, and shelters aren't really built to house animals. They're built to get cats and dogs into good homes. Sure. So with spring, you have more kittens, you have more puppies. Just that's usually that's how just it works. the nature, of, the it, nature right. of it. Yeah. So we're really, uh, before these animals start getting that kennel stress, um, we really need uh, people to come in and they can adopt, you can foster, or you can volunteer. You're helping in any of those ways. You mentioned kennel stress. What is that for folks who are not familiar? Yeah, kennel stress, um, you know, especially it, it's more with dogs. Um, uh, I they, think Betsy has a new best friend. <laughs> I, yeah, do. I do. Yeah, um, yes. dogs, especially highly active dogs, they need that stimulation. They need to get outside. They need the social interactions with other animals. And the longer they sit in the kennel, and they're, we get them out as much as we can, but sure. the shelter, we can only do so much. Absolutely. They start yeah. to get bad behaviors. Um, just yeah. like if a person was stuck inside all day and in confined right. in a small area. Sure. It, I get anxious uh, if it rains yeah. for 24 hours. <laughs> it's not good for our mental health. It's not good for animals' mental health. Sure, so. yeah, absolutely. Uh, what a good girl you brought with you today. Yes. Is Nesta is adoptable right now? She is adoptable. She's two years old. She'd be, uh, I think, an excellent family dog. She loves children. She loves other dogs. Um, she's um, just bubbly personality. Yes. So, she's super uh, excellent. snuggly. Yes, yes, she is. And she's kind of trained a bit as well. She right? is. Uh, we don't know her backstory. <laughs> she's one of those dogs that was just... Um, <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Wander <laughs> around. Ready at, to take a nap. Yeah, so one of those strays without a backstory that sure. just comes in the shelter with a great personality already. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it? and you know, we talk about this all the time, but the personality of the dog should really you try to match your personality, right? Because you if do. you're an active person, mm -hmm. you want to get an active dog. Yeah. If you like to hang out, watch Netflix, then yeah. maybe you don't need that active right, dog, right? right. Would, you, would you agree? I would agree. To that? I would, um, and that's part of the adoption process. When you're considering adopting, you want to think about what matches my lifestyle. Sure. Don't make a uh, just a knee-jerk reaction the first dog you meet. We have plenty of dogs, there's plenty of time. Um, take your time with it. Um, they will get adopted, so don't feel like the first one you see is not gonna get adopted. Right. If you have to if you have to think about it, take your time. We'll always have dogs, unfortunately, but yeah. that's part of the world we live in sure. to adopt. They're and, all cute, and cats. so and they are all that cute. works. Find one family. that works for you. I think that you're right, though. Having patience sometimes because you walk in and you see the pups and you're like, ah, that's the one immediately. Yeah. And then maybe that's not a great fit. Right? Yeah. So, and I'm sure you hear stories like that all you the time. You do. We try to direct people, especially if you're in an apartment. Think about the size of the dog, the, the activity it will need. Um, or if you're thinking of a puppy. Yeah, puppies are cute, but they're more commitment to training. Right. Somebody Where? like Nesta might get passed over for a cute puppy, but they don't think about, well, Nesta comes with already right. good skills, uh, good you know, skills that right? you don't yeah. have to work on. So those are things you want to consider, and it's a time and financial commitment to an animal. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Well, people are watching right now, and they want to adopt. How can they do that, right? Yeah, now? you uh, just go to the City of Fayetteville's website. You can pre-apply. That's not a commitment to an animal. It doesn't cost anything, but it gets you immediately in the door um, and to be able to get animals out. You can just walk through the shelter and okay. fill one out there, but you got to get approved first just to make sure that, you know, we're getting animals out to serious adopters for these beautiful animals we have. Um, so, yeah, online or come to the shelter, we got lots to look at right now, both cats, kittens, dogs, puppies. We got it all right You now. got it all. Okay, yes. well, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Nesta, thank you. Nesta's interested in something happening over on that <laughs> oh, side yes. now. I don't know what it is. It certainly isn't me. <laughs> <laughs>